what's up YouTube back at it with another tutorial pixel art tutorial and in this one I'm going to be showing a bunch of different styles of textures that you can use and we're going to use um, a square shape to do the textures so basically what we're going to be doing this this exercise is going to you know help you use your imagination I'm going to show you different ways you can make you know different type of uh, textures using you know making brick textures and um, different things like that and these won't be the full textures um, but you know the the reason I want to show you the, the the at least the base what I call the the base of the texture which is typically the middle part if you look back at my video showing how to make a full brick texture I showed you the middle piece was what all the other pieces are based off on I'm going to be making the middle piece is what I call the base and this exercise really just help you get used to seeing how this stuff is created and you know how you can use your imagination again use references always use references but it's also good to be able to just do things off the top of the head you know you may get you know this is something that you'll get used to as you keep making them you know once you've made a, a, a hundreds of brick textures you know unless you're just trying to make something very unique or different you could pretty much do it from you know muscle memory so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys I'm using Pico 8 um, got my grid system set up and I'm gonna show you how you know to make a simple brick texture but I'm gonna show you in each one of these boxes I'm gonna try to off the top of my head come up with different textures that could be used and uh, for uh, different situations so let's make a brick texture right We've done this before now bricks we know how brick walls look they normally have um you know some type of line this would be this right here would be the brick line separating it and then you want to offset the line you don't want it to be on top which you could do which i'll do in the next one i'll show you how that looks that looks more like tiles than bricks and because remember this is two now this is two and now we have and then you just even in now you got a brick texture and you know to make it look even more um let, let's not make it red let's well yeah let, let's make it red just to show you how you would typically see you know brick texture like well i can't add red there like i can't do it with the paint bucket because it'll spread out further than what i want and we have nice clean brick texture right and you could take this and make the other angles if you want to now let's do something similar but we're going to use different colors so to go in and I'm going to use actually use um I'm going to use white but this time I added at the top right and instead of going down two I'm going to go down just one space one space leave a gap right leave a gap then go in add one space leave a gap add my two back in right and then you're going to fill it in with let's say some blue right now this looks more like a cold brick texture right it's just different ways you can do it. Matter of fact, I can go back to this red, right? I can go back to this red. And to show you what I mean, like you might say, well, I don't like it like that. Uh, I don't like uh, the, the that separation. Well, you go in and just look, same thing. The only difference is just being a little different. I cut that off and, you know, the, the brick is laid differently. And you can go in and do something like um, take this red right and let's go ahead and just fill this in like that bam take the I'm just going to pretty much make this same thing again on this side but I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it look somewhat different see that now we could do something well, technically speaking, this should be like this right here to make it even. Yeah, that that makes yeah, my bad. So now, now that it's even, 
Um, <laughs> it wasn't even before. Now that it's even, I'm going to show you I could do something like this. I can sacrifice some of the... i just show it to you so you get what I'm saying. You go in and you add that... This is like a creative way of having like a a background behind the brick, right? So it looks like almost like um, it almost looks like a shadow. It's hard to explain. I actually got this idea from if you go look back at the original Mario Brothers, um, if you look at the cover art for Super Mario Brothers on NES. There's a brick wall, and their brick walls look like that. That's where I got this idea from. So even though I remember this from the top of my head, this is not something I just came up with myself. But you could do that, and it, and it makes it look different, you know. And then you can, you know, spice up your brick walls or whatever. But remember I said, hey, you, you want brick walls to be offset. Now, let's say, I, you know, you didn't do that. What would it look like if they were all even? Well, let's test that out. Let's just make a line here. Make a line there, make a line here, make a line not there, make a line here, 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 here. Everything's even. It looks like tiles, right? And you can go in and you can even say, hey, look, maybe you're making textures for a bathroom. Go in, a little blue here, blue there, blue here, blue there. Oops, forgot about that. And you got yourself a uh, did the wrong one there checkerboard. I'm messing up actually, but you got yourself a checkerboard. Um, why am I messing up doing that? Blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. Then it'd be blue, white, blue. There you go. Checkerboard. Uh, texture and, and just to show you that this stuff does fit if I were to take this right here copy paste add it here paste add it here paste add it here paste see what I mean that's a that's a wall you know you, now obviously you know a wall will have like different edges and corners but that's what we're basically doing. You know, if I do the same thing here, you know, go over here. Because everything is even. Add it here. It should line up like that. Line up like that. Line up like that. And there you go. You know, but you could change it up to, like, personally... I wouldn't want it to be that way. I would want it to be where I would actually switch this up. Actually, I would. I wouldn't even keep it like this. I actually had it right. I would want this to be blue, and this to be. Oh, uh, let me see. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Now, uh, blue, white. It's a certain way you can do this, but. I think it's because I got three instead of four. That's what it is. I have three instead of four. So let's go back to where it was, and I'll just show you a different way to do it. But this does work. It's just a different way of doing it. But this is another way you could do tiles. You go in, take this same concept, and you do line here, line here. No, not there. Line here. And line here and you want to get in the middle but there's really no middle to get into uh something like some something like this might be doing this wrong go in and add yourself some Got yourself a floor, different floor texture, or you can, like I said, you can go in and do the checkerboard, red, white. You space it out. 
thing. Checkerboard pattern. Now, let's see. What's another texture I can think of? Oh, yeah, a simple. Um, you know, this is walls and stuff, but then you can make grass. Um, go in, make the whole square black. This will kind of be the shadow or it doesn't have to be black but matter of fact let's use a different color let's use brown yeah we can use brown and you go in and i'm just gonna explain when you make a texture it's like this this is just there's no rhyme or reason to this i'm you just you just add in when you when you keep doing it you'll start to see okay i like this and i like that but this right here is a dirt texture with a little bit of grass. But if you want to go further, right, you don't want to cover up all the dirt, which is the brown, right? And then you want to come in and add some highlighted grass. Notice that I'm doing this little snake piece or whatever you want to call that. That does help um, to me. Or you can go in and add, you know, big chunk pieces like that. And you got yourself a grass texture. A little bit of dark is the brown. Or like me you want to be a little bit more creative I will add the blue because the blue is dark but it's not black and you got yourself a matter of fact I can come in here and mess with this a little bit more and fill this in like that you'll do that a lot when you're making pixel art you'll just be sitting here mumbling to yourself but yeah, you when you make textures like this, and you can take the same texture, right? And let's say you're making a game or something. You say, man, look, I made grass. I need something else, though. I need snow or something. I need, okay, well, you need snow. Just take the same texture, right? And uh, a <laughs> little, little tree, take the same thing and just change the colors. What does snow look like? Okay, snow is white. Okay, well, you know, just go in and change the, the light, the lightest color. Match the light color with the light colors, right? So the... So turn this white, turn this um this blue. And you got yourself some ice, snow, potentially water. It could be anything, or you can um take this same thing again, right? Well, I wouldn't make this to be water as too. Well, it could be water, but I wouldn't make it to be water as too too much ripples. Um, come in and change it to be. Let's see, change this to be brown. All oh, this will be brown, right? And now you got some brown mixed with some some grays. Change it to be gray. And now you got yourself some. Uh, you could leave it like this. This could be kind of like a desert. Desert color. Um, Desert texture rather. Say color. But yeah, you come in and do something like that. Change this. Because this is off right now. And you got yourself some some textures and, and like I said even with these bricks right I don't have to just use this this red you know that's just you know I showed you with the blue take this same brick bring it down here I'm making another brick right I need I need more bricks for my game <laughs> come in orange orange brick wall but let's say or this could be a brick floor or let's say I wanted colors to be a little off so I made this orange this yellow this yellow, this yellow, bam. All right. You could do the same up here. Red, um, 
make it burgundy, right? Just a different version of the same thing. This is how you can re uh, take things you already made and make this, make something new out of it. It's kind of the same concept I did in my other uh, tutorial you should check out where I'm showing you how you can take circles and take the same circle shape, change things around, and you get a different picture out of it. Same type of um, situation here, but we're using... Um, you know, uh, just the squ the complete square shape. Now, you know these are textures, but you can make items too. Like you know, let's. What else is square? That's something we see in games a lot. Let's uh, let's make a box, right? Let's make a box. Let's make a box, a top down box, right? So I want to go in, fill this in with brown, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something right here, right? This is a box you might say but well, that just looks like um it's just like light brown and dark brown on top of each other yeah because i didn't add any outlines around it so it may look odd but some games don't have outlines now me i i like comic book stuff so i would go in and do a little something like this i would add like a outline like that and you can leave it like that. And you can see it looks more like a box, right? Or you can, you know, fill it in at the top. I will go in and round out the box because, you know, I'm a, a weirdo. <laughs> so now I have a, a a box, a square box with some roundish edges. And then uh, what else I could do is, again, go on with colors. Let's see, this, this, this doesn't really go together. Like I said, I'm just messing around with colors right now. This doesn't really go together. Let's see what goes with this brown. Now I want to go back. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. And the the point of this though is I want to show you something. I can add this line here. This just let's just add black for now. Oops, wrong thing. Did you reverse this black line helps you understand that there's a separation of light so when you look at this picture one thing i'm gonna try to get you to understand is when you make certain things you're gonna have lighting in it like these other things i made don't necessarily count for lighting per se um but with this picture because i could just make it like this and this would still be a box right right but you might say well why in the world would you have it light in the front Dark at top. This would be for like if you're making a a scene in a game or a picture, and let's say the light. Remember, this is a top down angle. So if you're looking at the box from top down, that's how the rest of the picture should look, or whatever you're making should look. If the lighting is coming kind of at a from the front, but not the top. The top is going to be darker than the bottom. So that's why you would do that. Or you could do a reverse. Let let's say you know this also works. It's lighter at the top, dark at the bottom. And you can literally take this box, right, and change the colors, and it becomes a different object. So, you know, you go in. Matter of fact, let's make it back to where it was, where this was light here, dark here. Take this same box and um, copy, paste it. Take the same box. But now we got ourselves a... A GameCube. You might say that's a really simple GameCube. Yeah, it is. It's it's, it's not it's not much you can work with here. It's just a it's just a eight by eight square. It's not much you could do in this size. I mean, I could come in and see. This is a, something I'm teaching you. You might say, okay, that's a GameCube. Okay, but that's very simple. That's too simple. Like, what about the GameCube has other things on it? Um, it has the controller ports it has the you know you can see i i kind of added the, the the dark area where you know they had the gamecube logo on it well what if you know you could take the you might say hey, look at this gray you could take this gray and come in and add you know the controller ports but watch like i could i mean i could do that but i can only fit three you might say well just make them close together well then just like a gray line here like you you, you would could work but again when you're working with smaller stuff keep it simple the more you add it's going to look bad <laughs> that didn't mean that didn't mean to make that rhyme but you're going to keep it simple 
Keep it as simple as possible when you're working in small spaces. Good practice for beginners. Do not, this is what I used to do, and sometimes I forget and do it too. Don't, um, what's the word? Don't overthink things. When when you, there's a, there's a saying where I'm from, it's called leave well enough alone. When you look at your art and you say, man, that looks good. Don't start getting all fancy saying, but I could add this and add that. No, just leave it alone. Stop, just stop it. Put the pencil down, or in this case, put the mouse down, and leave it alone. You know, it's the same concept when people cook food. Like, you know, they, they make food, and then it's like, oh, I can just use a little bit more salt. And it's like, no, now you're going to make it taste like crap. Leave it alone. Now, anyway, let's see. What else is something we could do? Uh, is there any more textures I could think of? Now, this is a really simple one that... uh. Well, not simple. Let's see. Let's let's see. If we can do this. Can I reproduce this? I made this before working on a certain project. Um, but you'll be surprised. Like I I made a I made a texture that literally was just this. This was it. It was it was a piece of a hole. I'll show you. Like all right. So this was the top. And matter of fact, no. This was it. This this was what I did. This. Right. And I'm gonna show you at the bottom so you can get what I was going what I was doing. So at the bottom, this is how that it would line up. Brown at the bottom. Add us a line here, a line there, and this was supposed to be a dojo, like kind of like you you know you know ever seen a dojo and like a Chinese Japanese movie the the white um you know the white patterned walls and then at the bottom would be the wood but speaking of wood um I almost forgot about that we could take this same idea here I'm glad I remember that make wood texture how do you make wood now brick you know how bricks look right and you can make bricks a different way I'll show you another way you can make a brick but wood got yourself a line here Wood is similar to brick and that you want stuff to be offset, but, you know, wood isn't necessarily, if you're ever seeing the hardwood floor be laid down, it's not completely even, but got yourself a wood texture just by rearranging some lines and technically look if i take this same picture right this is wood looks like wood right looks like some wood on the floor right if i take this same picture and, and, and look there's ways you can make wood look more detailed than this but like remember i said working in small spaces see if i come in here and i try to add uh, you know you know some details like you ever seen some like in a western where the wood you can see the nails in the wood i've made wood textures but it was bigger space than this where you could see, where I had the nail of the wood like you could see it in there and it looked cool and all that you can't do that here leave like if I sat here and said oh I'm going to add uh, some gray in these little shiny things to represent nails could it work i mean if if that's all i did somebody like when you when you make pixel art and you and it's surprising um you know now that i think about it when i go play games that are pixelated You'll be surprised how often our own imagination is like subconscious. We will fill in the blank. So, you know, looking at this from here, you might say, but this is like a bunch of squares, right? And and that's one thing that I had to learn too when creating pixel art. When you're making the art, you're not playing the game. You're not looking at someone else's art after it's done. You're making it. So while you're making it, you might do this. And this is a mistake, which is something I've made. That's what I'm telling it to you. You criticize your stuff too much. There was a time I would look at this and say, man, they're like a bunch of squares. <laughs> like this, I don't, like what is this supposed, but when you see the full picture, when you see it all come together, then you say, oh, oh, okay, wait a minute, you know. It, this looks pretty nice, right? Uh, So anyway, I could leave it like that too. I mean, it could work. But what I was explaining was, this wood, this is wood only because I changed the direction of the lines. It's wood. If I take these same lines, right, 
this is how cool pixel art is. I take the same lines. I go in and, oh, what just happened? Oh, take this black line. Do it here. How many times did I drop down? Once. I drop down one time. It doesn't matter where. Do it like that. Drop down one time. Do it here. Drop down one time. Now I'm back to making bricks again. <laughs> These are some long bricks, but I'm back to making bricks again. Is that simple? Just changing, you know, you know, the it this looks like bricks because of the the direction and the fact that um bricks are oftentimes and bricks bricks I guess could be brown, but when you look at this and this was brown, this would be looking more like a wooden texture, but going the other way. But this looks like bricks again, right? Very thin bricks, but bricks. Now Let's do one more for the road. What's one last thing I could do with uh, in this square space? Square space. Not sponsored by them. Uh, what's one more thing I could do? Let's see. Um, trying to think. Got to sell some textures here. Different checker patterns. Got us some boxes. GameCube. Um, little wall. This might be really small to do this in, but let's see if I can finagle. Is that a word? Finagle this. Let's see. Do a little something like that. Add in a little of that. Look how simple this is. Add in a little. Could just keep it like that, but yeah, that's too too much. If I just add this one little drop here, we can even go as far as to add it, make it light blue. But I'm gonna keep it with the with the white. Add a red light down here. Add in just one more thing I can go with. Don't want to go too far. I might be going too far. <laughs> I might be going too far. Try to make like a little small. Uh, this kind of works, sort of. Trying to make a a small television, but this this might be too much. Like might have to just leave it the way it is right here. And the reason I went with blue instead of making it all black, cause outlines black and the blue. Um, back in the day, some of you might be young. There's these things called CRT TVs, and sometimes. They would kind of sort of look blue in the screen. They know most of the time look black, but sometimes, depending upon the lighting and the things that's reflecting off the glass, it might look a little dark bluish, or maybe I just need glasses, and that's why I wear them. But you got yourself a small little TV. You might think, oh, that's just, okay, whatever. That's, that's cool. But you know what's funny about this little box right here? Go play a game called Sonic the Hedgehog, and there's these little items he picks up, and he picks them up in these small little televisions that they're probably a bigger size than this, but it's still the similar concept. And inside here, they would just swap out different images, different images to represent things. So you got yourself a little TV and, you know, what's, some, what's something um, TVs used to have if I want to make it look more like a television? <laughs> something TVs used to have. Oh, yeah, I got I got one. Um. Uh, if I remember correctly, wasn't it something like this? You know, you, you, I forgot what I, this used to mean. Like you were on a bad station or something like that. When you would go in and have these mismatch colors, I ain't seen this in years. We're going and it got you know a little, a little of this. Now I'm gonna keep that white there to be the reflection. And matter of fact, I'm gonna make this dark green. And make this right here. Yeah, that kind of looks like a TV. 
And matter of fact, I make the end the end part will be purple. And then come back in. This will kind of like. Yeah, yeah. It look like a, like a little TV screen on a bad station. <laughs> Not getting no signal. But anyway, that's it for today's exercise. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed the exercise. Um, like I said, this is really just to help you use your imagination, be creative, um, to teach you some of the lessons that I had to learn that, you know, don't be over judgmental about your artwork. Um, understand when you're making pixel art, especially, you know, you're working with very small spaces oftentimes. You know, you may look at stuff. That's why I say this preview thing is very helpful. Being able to back up from your artwork. Like, look, you see, I'm looking at the TV, like, super close, right? I zoom out on here. That looks more like a television on a bad station, right? You look at these textures. This could be water. That could be ice. Um, That definitely looks like grass. That looks like some type of dirt. Possible, I don't know how to explain it. South, south, south. African American um texture or something like that, you know, something you might see in Mexico or something like that. You got yourself a wooden wall, some wood, GameCube, you know, list goes on. But anyway, hopefully guys, this helped you out. Peace out. Enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed the stream and check out my stream video and hope you enjoyed um the rest of my content.